Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video I'm going to talk about the Biolage Hydrosource Conditioner for dry hair that I have been using recently now. It's very rich, um, it's very hydrating, it's very thick and very nourishing and I have used this conditioner occasionally over the years. Um, but I've never really used it consistently and this winter is particularly dry because I'm spending a lot more time at home with the central heating on which I'm sure a lot of people are given the pandemic um, and of course winter is just generally a very cold dry season anyway um, and so I thought I'd treat myself to something a little bit more indulgent and consequently I've been using this conditioner um, in rotation, I use this one and I use um, the L'Oreal LV Dream Length Conditioner, which is a bit more strengthening and protein rich. So I alternate between these two every time I wash my hair. One, one time I wash my hair, I'll use this, um, and then the other time following that, I'll use the L'Oreal one. Um, but why do I like this conditioner? Because it is so hydrating. Um, it makes your hair, at least my hair anyway, feel so incredibly soft. The first time I ever used this conditioner, I fell in love with it. And from then on, I used it mainly for special occasions. Um, but now, like I said, I'm kind of treating myself a bit more um, at the moment. Um, and in terms of the ingredients, I'll just let you have a closer look of the bottle. Hopefully you can see that okay. Um, in terms of the ingredients, so it contains aloe vera, um, which can be soothing for the hair. Um, and uh, most of the ingredients are very effective in terms of the hydration that they offer. Um, so I'll just show you the ingredients list there. The thing that I like about this ingredients list is how <laughs> short it is um, and having a shorter ingredients list I find just means that it reduces the number of things that you can find irritating you know if you chuck on a load of things in a product or on your hair or on your skin um, you're more likely to be ir irritated by one of the things in there. Now this isn't the best um, conditioner that I would recommend for sensitive scalps or sensitive skins. Um, it does contain perfume slash fragrance, lim limonene and linalool, which um, some people can be sensitive to and they can be irritating and sensitizing ingredients. Um, so if you have particularly sensitive skin or um, sensitive skin conditions or a sensitive scalp, then maybe this one isn't the best for you, but I, I like it and I still use it. And when I use conditioner, I only use it on the strands. I don't use it on my scalp. Um, and I think that can minimise the irritating effects that it can have. Um, I have very fine hair. It is very thick, the conditioner, um, and it can weigh your hair down. So if you have really fine hair uh, and you're looking actually for products that are more volumising, um, then this probably isn't the one for you. But I like it, I use it, and it works really well for me. So that's my review on this conditioner. Please let me know if you have any comments or questions or if you just like this video and you want to offer me some support, that would be really wonderful. I'd really appreciate that. Please, if you can, like this video. It would mean a lot to me um, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much.